Defensive system malfunctioning. so Torres can pick you up. guys welcome to another build video uh, for today's video i want to show you my status effect build um, this build is made for both pve and pvp um, i kind of like tested it um, just to give you like a heads up uh, in order to do um, uh, pvp at its best um, when you're going for a squad try to have like a squad with yourself as well uh, because this is more like a DPS kind of like ish build with some tankish build and also some uh, status effect The higher importance for this build is to actually get more status effect on the enemies either if it's PvP or PvE But we're going to focus on the PvE section uh, PvE section today because this is what you saw in the beginning of the video So this is one of the builds that you want to have especially if you're doing um let's say pv content that you guys are overwhelmed and this build kind of like helps you because of the status effect that it has has a lot of them and it's actually quite good so let's start with the build so uh, i have the technician uh, that gives me plus one skill tier as you can see here i have uh, one uh, yellow two yellow three yellow from the backpack and also the um, uh, I have one yellow, I can remember, no, this one, uh, and one yellow, so that's four skill tier on my, uh, uh, on my build right now. Um, the first weapon, it's actually a sergeant, I think it's sergeant, Elmo's engine. Um, this one, it's, uh, probably the best weapon in the game, the best exotic assault rifle in the game, so, um, if you don't own it, uh, you kind of, like, need to farm for it, it's a very good weapon. Uh, this one also it's a bonus to the status effect because uh, for who for you guys that don't actually own this weapon it says here that shooting an enemy with this weapon will give you one stack at 100 stacks the next magazine will be 100% uh, filled with shock ammo so this is a status effect weapon from the beginning right um, my second option is the rock and roll because I um, wanted to do a lot of uh, damage up and close uh, this build is not for long, uh, long range or probably say like close to medium range. 
and um, because you have the assault rifle right we can you can just shock if you don't want to waste the bullets you kind of like need this different weapon to actually take the dem enemies out uh, fast and the rock and roll in my opinion this is probably like the best right now to have it for this build if you guys want to change with a different weapon that's up to you but this is my uh, choosing for my secondary okay uh, first piece uh, as you can see so let's start out with the ninja backpack because this is highly important so i have the ninja back uh, ninja bike messenger backpack um this one uh, again for all you that uh, don't own the the ninja um uh, backpack uh, it says that every time you equip a gear set or a brand set uh, item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a, uh, uh, unlocking gear sets bonus can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously so what it does that mean basically when you um let's say for example i have here the wyvern i only have one piece uh, i think uh, one piece if i know yeah one piece but because i uh, added this one it actually gives me like the it unlocks the second one which is the status effects so you can see here i have the 50 percent status effect on this one then i have the uh, golan gear with status effect and armor region uh, then I have the shotgun ammo with the total armor for the badger, which is the uh, the my um, my gloves. Then I have the holster, which is the eclipse protocol that gives me another 50% status effect. And then I have the fenris that gives me 10% uh, ass assault rifle damage and 30% reload speed. So this is the build in itself. Now the abilities that I use, it's actually so you see here skill uh, uh, sk skill tier four. So I am using the um, uh wait uh the sticky yeah so i'm using the sticky with uh with the burn on it and also i'm using the riot foam for cam launcher right so for example if i don't want to for the enemy to move especially for the uh, for the hunters this is probably the best you can uh, have uh, also this one goes in well in pvp and this one also it depends on the situation so for example i'm using this one first and uh, if the enemy is standing still i'm firing with the weapon regardless if i have shock or shock ammo or not then i'm using this one uh, right when he's uh, about to uh, uh, exit the um the foam then i use the burn so when i use the burn basically uh, it will give him like another status effect right by the time that um burn runs out I, uh, if let's say for example I don't have the shock arm, uh, shock arm on it then I use the, the the foam again so after I use the foam again then uh, at, le at let's say at the most then I will have some shock ammo on my weapon so then I can shock them so this build in itself is based around status effect and how to keep your enemies um, uh, um, incapacitated because they cannot do anything probably in PvP because if you foam <coughs> somebody in pvp they can still fire uh so try to do that usually i try to do this when they're running from from me because if if they run if they fall if they f if i fold them they will be uh stick to the ground and not facing me so that's one of the things that uh, you guys need to keep in mind if you want to do this in pvp so you'll not take damage or either form them in front of them and move to the side or on the back so you can start shooting uh, shooting them but in general, this one in PvP, PvE, it's a must, for, uh, specifically when you want to do missions that have uh, a lot of enemies or if you're uh, having issue on taking them down, uh, this one can group like the foam, then you have the flame uh, from, the, uh, from the sticky, then you have also the the shock ammo from the from elmo's engine so you have a lot of status effect and you also have 1.3 million on this one and um, let's see the stats real quick so my stats here i have 59 percent critical hit chance and 156 critical hit damage so this is in my opinion this is a very good build to have um, a very basic one to do so you kind of like don't need too much you can uh, need the sergeant elmo's and you also need a ninja backpack uh, for the rest of it this one you can farm for them so you kind of like need one piece wyvern one golan one badger and one fenris and also one eclipse protocol that is usually kind of like easy probably this is the most easy one because most of the uh, eclipse protocol comes with one skill tier so what you can do then you can reload re-roll uh, re the attribute here and you swap to critical hit damage or critical hit chance depending what you need but most of it you kind of like need um, these pieces in order to make it uh, very um, 
in my opinion this is probably the most useful useful build when it comes to uh, functionalities right most of the builds are either tankish are the uh, dps wise this is an uh, a support let's say with some uh, with damage right this is not you cannot compare this build to a uh, dps build but it has damage due to uh, both of the weapons and also you are um, helping them with status effects so I'll probably say like if you need something that you want to help your teammates this is probably one of the best builds that you can have right now so try to give it a shot and yeah also keep in mind use the EMP grenade especially for the warhounds if you're going on PvE and if you're fighting uh, uh, warhounds this one will disable them as well so you also have another status effect that you'll be able to disable something so don't try to use the grenade use the EMP because it will have um, uh, will help you also adding another status effect to your build so you have more CC on this onto this build so yeah that's probably it for the build um, uh, like uh, the video on your way out and until next time I'm out